Hello everyone, today I want to show you my favorite free Blender add-on where you can download literally uh, thousands of free high quality models, textures and scenes and also brushes. Um, with a paid account you can download even more. So if you want to learn more about that add-on, just watch that video. So let's jump right into the tutorial. First of all, I am not getting paid by the company behind that add-on. Um, I'm just totally convinced of the benefit uh, each of you will get from that cool free add-on. There is a free uh, version of it and a paid version, uh, but even with the free version, you can literally get thousands of free models. Uh, materials, scenes, HUI maps and brushes and with a paid account, uh, I think that's uh, at, at the moment I think about $10, $10 uh, you can get even more high quality models. If you are interested in um, to be a subscriber uh, to that add-on, I will leave a link in the description below where you can get 10% off that the normal price. So um, if you're interested in, you can click on that link. Um, Otherwise, you can just go on the website and uh, pay the normal price. That's up to you. So let's jump into the add-on. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you on the website um, from the Blender Kit, from BlenderKit.com. Uh, and as you can see here, um, at the moment, there are over uh, nearly 8,000 free modeled materials, HDI and more. Uh, that means more means scenes. So um, even if you are not a paid subscriber to that add-on, you have tons of free models and materials um, which you can just use in your Blender scene. So um, maybe we just jump into Blender and I will explain how the add-on works. So I've created that, uh, that scene. So I modeled the class and that table by myself and um, I wanted to make some kitchen scene. Um, and of course, uh, the whole scene only works with some background. So now you have the choice to model everything you see here by yourself just to blur it out afterwards uh, so that you can see nothing. To do that, um, I will now explain how I created that kitchen and I promise you um, it will take under 10 minutes to create um, that scene, maybe <laughs> under five minutes. So we jump into my prepared scene where, where is uh, yet nothing. At the moment you can only see my table and my prepared glass of water. Now it's time to add um, a kitchen and for that I'm going to open the Blender Kit add-on which you can find here in the sidebar. Click on find and upload models assets. By the way, you can also upload uh, your own models. Um, you have, uh, I think, uh, two gigabyte um, storage with a subscribed account uh, where you can upload your own models and use it as some kind of database. And of course, you can sell them, um, sell your models on Blender Kit and add some and earn some additional money from that. So, but we want to search right now. Um, I go into models because we're searching a kitchen model and I type in kitchen. And now we got some kitchen that we can uh, choose between. Uh, maybe I will go with, with, where is it? Maybe with that gray one. Just click on it and it will be placed uh, in your scene. So, and there's automatically a, a, a group with your kitchen model and now you can rotate it and make it fit to your scene. Move it a little bit to the back, something like that. Uh, it's placed to the wall, yes it is. And now you we can place it in the right spot. And now we already got 
some kitchen as background. It's not the same kitchen uh, as you saw in the intro. Um, there were too many kitchens. I did not found the same one right now. And now it's time to add some uh, additional tools. So um, we want a mixer. And as you can see here, we have no, these are no mixers. Oh, yes, uh, it's water mixers. I think that's called uh, like that in English. Um, we want to go with that kitchen mixer and you just have to track and drop it on the plane on the place you want to place it. And now you have a mixer on your kitchen. So now we are going to search uh, what, what's in, in the kitchen. Um, maybe we type in just cooking, see what we got. Yes, there is some cooking pot. We can place that on the stove like that. Um, and maybe another one. And it's placed perfectly. Now uh, we, want, we want some food. Um, maybe we can go with that croissant lying over here. And what else do we got when we type in kitchen? Um, I think maybe these knives are looking cool. Now the knives, uh, they are not placed on the, uh, on the floor, on the um, board here. They are placed on the wall. And the cool thing is Blender Kit automatically places everything in the right angle to the position you want to have it. So we got some knives on the wall. We can control it and it already looks good. We can place that a little bit on the other side, maybe here a little bit up. And we already got some cool looking kitchen. Uh, I don't um, make that scene till the end. You know where it leads to. And uh, what I want to show you uh, is to replace the material. So if you don't like uh, the material of your table, just click on the material panel and type in wood. And you've got some cool looking wood. You can choose here between your own assets. If you only want to use your own assets, you can uh, choose between uh, only procedural wood or procedural texture or texture based texture with some image behind it. And now you can just drag and drop it on your scene. And you see, you automatically got a dark wooded table like that. And that's how you can make easily uh, some cool scenes uh, without modeling or um, texturing everything by yourself. If you click on model, you also have some uh, additional uh, possibilities to search. Uh, for example, you can go by categories. Um, you have uh, the category architecture, uh, character, decoration, industrial, interior, military, and behind the each uh, category, you see how many assets are behind there. Um, now you may ask you uh, how many assets there are free. Um, and for that, I will go to the Blender Kit website where you can see all the models. Now um, everything is activated. You see brushes, HDRI, pictures, material, models, and scene. And uh, with you, you can see uh, here with that free plan icon or full plan icon how many of them are in the free um, version. And I will just go with the models, I think. And as you can see, there are plenty of models, chairs, uh, mushrooms, USB lights, uh, paprika, bowl of eggs, and it goes on some PlayStation table. Maybe we can just go for architecture. And as you can see, some couch is free, carpets, no, that's not a carpet, that's a concrete <laughs> uh, plate. Now we got some <laughs> full plan models uh, but again here is a full hanger um, some toilet paper holder 
and some other cool stuff you can use for um, design um, when you design some street thing or whatever. You got a whole church, a tower, and so on and so on. So there are, I, I can tell you that about um, half of the models uh, is for free. Um, the materials uh, are completely free. So we got, uh, at the moment right now, we got 3000 materials that are 100% free. So as you can see here, uh, there are pretty cool materials and you can all uh, use them just by drag and drop it into your scene. So again, um, you have to be subscribed uh, and pay, I think, monthly about $10 to get access to all the models. And you don't have to uh, go to several websites or platforms and buy a model or buy some texture or whatever. You have everything at one place with the Blender Kit add-on. So again, if you use the if you use the download link that I put in the description below, you get 10% off. Uh, but that's up to you. You can uh, just go to the normal website. It's blenderkit.com and uh, make your account um, and uh, it will make you pay the normal price. That's totally up to you. Um, so I hope you find that tutorial helpful. Um, at least I did. At le um, I did find the uh, add-on helpful. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Have fun with it. Mm -hmm.